My name is Mirna Al Sharif. I'm Egyptian, but I grew up in the States. Three years ago, I moved here with my family. I would describe us as honestly your typical Arab family. Like, the only difference was that, okay, like my sister and I grew up abroad, but honestly, the typical Arab family is in Ghurba. Most of the people that I associated with in, like, say my high school in New Jersey, in the suburbs of New Jersey, were like, honestly, the majority were Spanish and Italian. So you speak to people, it's like, oh yeah, my dad says we're Italian. But it's like, I ask you, do you speak your language? Do you know anything about where you came from? And then you come to Dubai, and everyone's speaking their language. Everyone's wearing their, their national dress. Everyone is cooking their own food. Do you guys remember that one time when we visited your your uncle, Al Sayyid, and uh, she kind of like his wife invited us in and sat us down, and then the first thing like she automatically started saying was, "Oh, you know, Myrna, you, you're so pretty, like you're so this," and then Grandma was the one who told her actually. She said, uh, "Her sister's just as beautiful," but he raddit wa alit. بس انتي عارفه احنا بنقول ايه السمار نص الجمال بس البياض الجمال كله so what did you feel you as a mother as a mother of both of us how did you feel in that situation you didn't say anything you kind of just i didn't عشان انا حسيت هي مش مش هقول ان هي ignorant بس ما يعني مستوى تفكيرها هو limited لحد كده انا شايفه انا عارفه يعني مستوى تفكيري اعلى فانا مش حاضر افهمها لان دي حاجات عادات وتقاليد استكت في دماغها وده اللي هي ماشيه بيه وانا مش حاضر اغيره اي دونت كير ان انا اغيره I was born in Baghdad but I've grown up in several countries and mostly in the United States I went to Carrefour which is right near where I live and I saw a whole wall of these whitening creams and I was stunned because I, of course I'm familiar with the whitening creams but usually traditionally you find them in ethnic shops you know on some dusty shelf with the questionable packaging but here they were beautifully presented and they were made by famous uh, companies such as uh, Olay and Nivea and Jergens and um, Ponds, I can't remember what else. And I was really surprised because I had just left the States days earlier where the commercials on television kept saying, Olay, love the skin you're in. And here, they're specifically telling a woman not to love the skin she's in, but to whiten the skin she's in. Have you ever met people who are obsessed with the idea of being white? Or uh, they have a يعني تعرفي ناس كده؟ ايوه اعرف ناس مثلا صاحباتي مثلا في المدرسه صاحباتي في الكليه ناس كتيره ناس من من انا اعرفهم شخصيا كانت دي مأثره عليهم ان هم غامقين شويه مش نفس مثلا لون البياض اللي هم عايزينه ودي برضو مأثره ان هم ما بيقعدوش في الشمس اما كنا نروح البحر احنا كنا بنروح البحر الساعه 6 الصبح Yeah, I can't really tell you why I want to be more fair. Like, it's so deeply ingrained that I can't even figure out where it's coming from. Like, there is a kind of societal pressure where everyone I know kind of goes, thinks that fairer is prettier or, you know, 
when people are talking about like girls, they will be like, oh yeah, she's still pretty, she's still fair. لو حنستخدم مفهوم الجمال باللون فانتي كده بدأتي تحطي مفهوم الجمال في قالب معين فمش كل الناس هتخش في القالب ده بس مش معنى ان انتي مش جوه القالب ده ان انتي مش جميلة يعني وبعدين ده رأي مين او مين اللي حط القانون دون وانا ليه اخدع لقانون زي ده ده وجهة نظر انت شايف اني مش جميلة بس في ناس تانية شايفين Basically, India has a very had a very strict caste system. There were like for um, there were four castes, and the lowest caste, their their meaning translates into the untouchables. You don't talk to them. You don't you know marry them. Like there can't be any integration because they are the lowest rung of society. This is how it was way back, like as far back as I can think. هل وردة بيضة عن وردة حمراء بتقل جمال أو بتزيد جمال؟ لا. كل واحدة ليها رونقها ليها جمالها الخاص بيها وكل واحد ولي زو. So there was already that element of dark is dirty, dark isn't good, dark is poor. It's very sad the way it was. Like these people couldn't touch the food the other people were eating. They couldn't get jobs. They couldn't live in the parts of town that other people live. They were completely segregated. أنا بحب محمد منير. ما فيش أغنية محمد منير غنى أليا بيضة. كل أغنية السمرة، الجمال الأسمر، عبد الحليم يعني. فازاي إحنا بنقد نفسنا إنه إزاي أنت عايز تجوز بيضة وإله الحب عبد الحليم يسمر يسمراني. طب طب ليه يعني؟ أسمر يا أسمراني مين أجزك علي لو ترضى بهواني أنا مش هقول إن أنا كره سماري بالعكس بالعكس أنا دي حاجة بحبها فيا وياما كتير في أغاني غزل للسمرة زي ما في للبدو في للسمرة يعني بس يعني ما بينش سماري أكتر مثلا يعني ما روحش ألبس لي شيلة بيضة أنا محجبة بقالي مش عارفة كم من سنة أربع سنين عمري ولا عمري هلبس شلة بيضة لأنها بتبين سماري أكتر لو إحنا تولدنا على دين معايير دين تلاقي دايما بنلاقي أمهاتنا وأهلينا آه ده راح خطب فلانة طب فلانة شكلها عاملة إيه يقولك حلوة طب حلوة إزاي يعني عاملة إيه بيضة اللي يعني ملونة اللي طويلة شوية مليانة شوية أكتر فأنا أعتبر عادية بس بال بمعايير ال لا أعتبر عادية يعني لو واحدة تخطب لبنتها بأنا مش أولوياتها للأسف <تصفيق> يعني الناس حسب ما هي بتشوف ان اجمل بنت في مصر لازم تكون بيضة في اللي برضو بيفتكروها ان هي لازم تكون مليانة شوية في اللي بيحبوا الطوال مثلا انا gonna be tall not taller than me uh, white yes she has to be white hair <laughs> uh, color doesn't matter confident funny that's it these are the major, major things I don't know. I see it more beautiful. وروح أكتر للبنت اللي هي السمرة الأمحية بحس إنه يعني إنها بتبقى جذابة أكتر البنت ال السمرة برضو اللي هو ال بيسموه جمال الأمحية إن هي تكون أمحية. أكيد بفضله في عندهم فرق بين السمر والبيض يعني. Of course they prefer the white white girls. عندك خوات بنات. Yep. في حد منهم بيستخدم whitening cream. Yeah, of course. They will be using whitening creams. They'll be avoiding the sun for a long time. And does it matter if you avoid the sun or not? Well, I'm a guy. It doesn't matter for me. <laughs> I work with people with all kinds of skin problems. Most of them in this country, in the United Arab Emirates, they want to become white. You need to let it go. Yeah, you need to. And did you get did you get lighter or what? Yeah, happened? I got so light. It was like, يعني عمل peel like ثلاث أو أربع طبقات. Well, it's because of the chemical in it. 
that the skin becomes sensitive. Anytime you put any chemical on the skin, you are, you could have a rash, you could have like the hyperpigmentation coming up just from the sun or hormones or whatever. And it is a chemical reaction. The body is telling you that, hey, we don't like this cream. This ad was basically this girl is going for um, a job interview to be a stewardess. So she goes into this ad um, interview and the guy is like, uh, no, I'm sorry, we don't have any vacancies. Uh, well, maybe you could try again next year. And then uh, she goes home and she's very sad and then she buys this fair and lovely cream and she uses it for t I think seven weeks or 12 weeks. There's like a certain amount of time. And then they have like a time lapse of her face going from dark to like really dark to really fair within like seven or 12 weeks. And then she goes back to the same interview and she gets hired. And it's like, you know, nothing's gonna hold you back if you're fair. So do you feel that in Egypt's standards, in Egypt's beauty standards, do you believe that you're considered beautiful? Um, I don't, I, I feel like I have a hard time answering that question because I feel if I'm being compared to others, then people don't see me as someone who's uh, beautiful in their eyes. Because if you see someone as beautiful, you shouldn't be comparing them to someone else. So you didn't feel beautiful? No. Did it ever make you feel bad about yourself, these comparisons? I think back when I was young, yeah. Um, uh, uh, when you're sitting with cousins and such, and uh, you have the mothers uh, preferring my sister to me. انت شايفة ان في بلدنا مثلا في مصر ان البنت البيضة ليها يعني مور اوبرتونيتيز للاسف اه بس ارجع واقول انه ماشي انا سمراء وانت بيضة وقدمنا نفس الشغل ابلوكي انت الاول عشان انت بيضة بس لو لو ما اديتيش اللي عليكي لو انت مش موهوبة مش هيخلوكي في مكانك فهي اه هي تذكرة بس بس مش تذكرة عبور طول الطريق هي تذكرة دخول هي بتفتح باب بتفتح سكة and the thing that makes me hopeful is that, you know, now it's catching up a little bit. It's catching up. Like, the Tanner girl is, is, is sexier, you know. She's getting attention. The Tanner girl is becoming this, like, you know, this icon of this region. And girls, more and more every day, they're choosing, you know, to embrace their skin tones. I'm tan, and I like it. I have seen darker people that are always looking for men, a white woman, or a dark woman looking for a white man or a lighter man than what she may be. It's, it's a myth because beauty is, is skin deep.